Throughout the years, SpongeBob SquarePants has had many depressing and sad episodes, but there is one episode that has stuck with me since the day I've watched it, and I believe that this is by far the saddest episode in the entire show. It's the episode titled New Leaf. The episode starts off with Mr. Krabs spying on Plankton, who is for some strange reason waving a white flag in the air, which symbolizes that he surrenders. Krabs goes outside and Plankton tells him that he is tired, trying to steal the formula and has different plans for his restaurant and life. He walks Mr. Krabs into the chum bucket to show him his new business idea to start a toy and artifact store. But Mr. Krabs just laughs in his face and is in disbelief that Plankton is trying to finally better himself. Later in the episode, Mr. Krabs becomes obsessed with spying on Plankton and goes inside the chum bucket to see what's going on. He is extremely jealous that Plankton isn't paying him any attention and begins to get even more angry until he finally snaps. He completely destroys Plankton's workshop and doesn't even care. He couldn't stand the fact that Plankton had other things to do and still tries to tease him with the formula. I already disliked Mr. Krabs, but this episode made me hate him even more. Plankton tells Krabs to go away and clearly shows that he is the bigger person in this situation, even though he is literally tiny. Mr. Krabs is filled with shame and cries his way home. At this point in the episode, I was much more disappointed than I was sad. But then, nighttime arrived and as Plankton showered, he got a call. Yo! Uh, Plankton? You G? Uh, hey! Hey! Listen, uh... I just wanted to, you know, apologize for my behavior today. Wasn't right what I'd done. And I realized I hurt the feelings of, uh, <coughs> of, uh, someone I care about. You still there? Yeah. I'm still here. This truly shows the true deep connection that these two have even though in the show they are portrayed as enemies. They grew up together and now as adults they just have disagreements with each other, but are still closer than brothers. The next day we see the two enjoying a day together, just like they did when they were kids. At the end of the episode they sat on a bridge and talked for a while, and I'm not gonna lie for the first time in my life. I actually felt something for the characters. Mr. Krabs finally gave Plankton what he wanted all of these years. The Krabby Patty formula? If the episode had ended there, it would have been an unforgettable one that could probably end the show. But we all know the writers had to ruin it and keep Plankton as the bad guy. See a sick, demented Plankton with the formula in his hand, happy that he finally got it opens it to find out that Mr. Krabs gave him the wrong one just to trick him. This episode had a way deeper meaning, and I truly believe that the apology Mr. Krabs gave Plankton was from the heart, and you and I can learn a thing or two about forgiveness. We all had a best friend or family member that we got distant with and no longer speak to or hang out with. Remember that it's okay to forgive, just never forget. My life has been nothing but a long line of disappointment since we became enemies. All these years I've been trying to steal your formula, but I was really just trying to steal back our friendship. <laughs>